Hey there, this is a uh, short video on creating rate data um, from census data. In this case, this is data that's been downloaded from NHGIS um, here in Excel. So um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, when you download data from NHGIS, you'll get a file that looks something like this. There's a bunch of information here that's often blank. This is tracked level data. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that because we just don't need it. Um, you'll see in here there's information. Um, so we'll go ahead and highlight all those columns and click on delete and it gets rid of all those. And then you'll see there's all these numbers here with these columns. And you might not be clear at first what all those columns mean. Um, certainly there's some columns here. This is a tract identifier, it gives us the name of the data set, the state where these different census tracts are. But these columns aren't as clear. Um, if we go to the file that we downloaded and we click on the text document, it'll give us variables that go with each of those. Um, figures. So it'll look something like this, and if we scroll down we'll see here um, one is the total um, household population in this case. We're looking at households in terms of income, household income, um, and then breakdown. So two is households with income less than 10,000, then the next one is 10,000, 15,000 basically, and so on and so on. Notice that we have both estimates of the actual count here as well as the ones that have an M, here it's an E, the M down here um, is for margin of error. And we might be interested in looking at that, especially if we're looking at rural areas at some point. Um, so we'll leave this open for now, but I'm just going to move it out of the way. Um, in this case, we'll walk through what if we want to do just the um, two lowest income classifications, so two and three. We can see those are listed right here, right? Um, so in this case, we might just want to delete everything else. We're not interested in it at this point. You might want to keep it, but. For the sake of this video, I'm going to delete it. Um, so if we just want two and three, we'll get rid of this column as well. Um, if we want to create a rate, first we have to sum these two. Um, we don't have to do that. We could jump right to the rate, but maybe we want a total population count. So I'll just call this income um, low. And then I'll create a formula here where um, I add this column and this column. And it gives us their total count. And then we can do a rate rate just like this and for this we can then take that total count and divide it by the total population which is number one if you remember and maybe we multiply it by a hundred that has a lot of decimal points maybe we want to make it a little prettier so we can use the um, so we multiply by 100 so we get the percentage to get rid of those decimal points or to lessen those decimal points we could do a round function so round this and uh, let's say we want, want it only to two decimal places. So we put in two, and that'll give us just those two decimal places. It's the way that the round function works. So we'll go ahead and select both of those. If I double click on this, it'll copy it all the way down. There we go. Um, and we'll go ahead and save it. So I can go under File and Save. Pretty straightforward, um, so hopefully this works. And it's going to ask me to save it somewhere else. So that's that's the process. Um, go have some fun.